Yeah, good evening ladies and gentlemen it's a great pleasure to welcome each and every one of you to our today's um, um, live section um, so far we have been able to look at how to register a business name and also a private uh, limited liability company so um, in this live section I'll be uh, taking you guys on a general review on how to register an incorporated trustee uh, but before we proceed in looking at uh, a practical step by step on how you can get an incorporated trustee like an NGO, cooperative society, religious body registered, um, there is need for us to understand what an incorporated trustee is. By definition, an incorporated trustee are organizations in which their sole aim of incorporation is not to make profit but to render services or assistance to their members or the general public as contained in their memorandum of association. Uh, that simply means that the sole aim for the establishment of an incorporated trustee like an NGO or a religious body or a cooperative society is not to uh, make profit but rather to render services to their members or to the general public at large. So this is quite different from that of uh, a business name or a company simply because the objective for a company is to provide goods and services and also to make profit out of it in order to what maximize shareholders wealth but that is different in, that is different in the case of an incorporated trustee now an incorporated trustee is being um, classified into different categories number one we have the cooperative society the NGO religious body association and club and the model of registration on CAC website is quite similar, though few differences may emanate from documentation and the name to be what registered. Okay, let me use um, the cooperative society as a case study. Yeah, from this clause, I see that few differences may emanate from documentation and the name to be what registered. In this training, we won't be looking at each of these categories of incorporated trustee one after the other because of time. So rather, I'm going to select um, a particular one, which is the cooperative society, which we are going to be using as a case study. Though uh, the, 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 the process are similar, but the only difference might be uh, based on one or two things. Like that of the cooperative society, if you are registering a cooperative society, let's take for instance, I want to register Kaduna State Traders yeah, as a cooperative society. Now for me to register Kaduna State Trader as a cooperative society, there is need for me to add corporate, the, the word cooperative society at the end of the name. I repeat myself again. For me to register Kaduna State Trader as a cooperative society, I need to add the word cooperative society at the end of what the name, which is Kaduna State Trader Cooperative Society. Just like that of uh, a private limited liability company when I was showing you guys how to apply for name reservation. You know, for you to register a company, a private company, the word LTD or limited must be added to the name of the word the company take for instance let's say proweb digital i cannot say proweb digital rather i will say proweb digital limited because it is a limited liability word company so if it is a plc then i will say proweb digital plc so that's how it is so uh, likewise that of ngo religious uh body association they all have the different um um dynamics on how it is but though the registration process is um similar so there's no need for me to uh, start explaining each of those different categories one after the other okay let's proceed so in this video i'll be using a cooperative society as a case study which i have said um the first thing yeah the first thing now the first thing you need to think of before you commence the registration of a cooperative society or any other form of registration is the requirement. This is absolutely important because it saves you from lots of back and forth, time management and being objective if you 
are doing the registration for what a client so it will look so unprofessional that you are engaging the clients on how to uh, get their, their cooperative society or their NGO already start and you don't even know the, the, the required documents and information you need to get from these people. So it sounds so embarrassing when you, uh, you told the client that yeah, these are the documents and you still went back again to tell them that no, you need to do this, you need to do this. So it looks so um, no unprofessional. So there is need for you to understand the required information and documents you need to get from your what client so that you reward objective right so now let's quickly look at the required information and documents for cooperative society registration number one application for consent to register the name to be addressed to the word registrar general of the corporate affairs commission number two at least three proposed names of the cooperative society yeah you need to get at least uh, three proposed names of the cooperative society you want to register so if it is an ngo you need to get uh, uh at least three proposed names of the ngo you want to register if it is a church you need to get a name as so on and so forth that's how, that's how it is the number three publication of notice in two national dailies one of being a local newspaper widely circulated in the area where the organization be so most people do as well is it that the cause for registering uh ngo corporate society is higher compared to that of business name and uh business name uh literacy company yeah the, the difference there is you know for the registration of an incorporated trustee there is need for you to do on uh, the newspaper publication so that attracts an additional cost because a third party input is required so therefore the cost is um usually at the high side right so number four proposed address or location of cooperative yeah proposed address or location of the word cooperative so if it's an NGO you need to get the address of the NGO if it is a church you need to state the address of what the church so but for this this is a corporate society so we need to capture or state the address of the cooperative society number five constitution or by law yeah for every garden there must be a constitution that that governs the behavior of the the members right so for a corporate society there is need for the uh the organization to have an established constitution so that is one of the um requirements for registration so you need to take note of that number six um number six minutes of the meeting where all trustees are appointed having list of all members present and absent and show the voting pattern signed by the chairman and secretary of the board to be typed on the letter head of the incorporated trustee so um psychologically for an organization to go ahead and say they want to um, get their association where you start like the corporate society uh, there must be uh, an agreement between members and, be, and this is this agreement is being evidenced by the minutes so now CSC is saying that the, 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 the society must be ready to provide the minutes where there was a discussion between all members and there was a voting right that um, a particular set of people should be appointed as what trustee that will uh, manage the affairs of the organization so number seven minutes of the meeting where the special where the special clause rules was adopted in the constitution of the organization signed by the chairman and secretary yes there must there must be a minute where there was a discussion concerning the establishment of the constitution now the constitution is not established by one person but rather it is being established by members of the organization so therefore uh csc need a minute that shows when that uh, constitution was being established so it is very important so number eight all trustees are expected to provide the following informations all trustees are expected to what provide the following information number one uh, the na their name signature email address mobile number occupation country set of residence local government area postal code 
optional anyway house number street name and valid means of identification the number nine is receipt of declaration from the court number 10 minimum and maximum number of trustees. trustee so uh, the organization needs to state the minimum and maximum number of trustees that will form their board then uh, number 11 trustees stand in office so and this is usually contained in the constitution or their or their what's it called uh their bylaw or const yeah their bylaw setting the, the number of ten or that each of the trustee uh have in what in office okay um Let's look at the stages for a cooperative society registration. So, having a look at the theoretical aspects of the required document and information required to register a cooperative society, which is at the same time similar with um, every other um, category of incorporated uh, trustees, let's uh, quickly look at the stages for a cooperative society registration in Nigeria. So, number one, you need to create an account. So, um, if you are doing this by yourself, that is, you are not uh, contracting it out to um, a third party, a, a general accountant or a lawyer, uh, that simply means that you need to what, create an account. So, um, in our previous training, I've trained, I've showed you guys how to create an account as a non-accredited agent. So, if you are yet to get uh, that video, can you drop a comment below by typing um i haven't watched the video then i'm going to uh, inbox you with the link through which you can use to uh, watch the video so number two search for proposed name availability so having created the account having created your account then the, the second stage is for you to what search for proposed name availability that simply means that the name the you guys want to give the organization whether it is an ngo or the church or the religious body or a complete society you need to search on the csc database to see if that particular name you intend to register is still available for usage yes it is very important then number three which is the third stage apply for proposed name reservation so having satisfied that the name you intend to register have not been used by um, another person so you can now go ahead and apply for what name reservation so for you to get a video on how to apply for name reservation kindly click on kindly go through um, uh, the link i have provided in the description of this um, video for you to um, uh, get a review on how to go about that then the first stage is commencement of what registration commencement of registration so uh, when CSC might have approved your proposed um, name whether it is for the corporate society whether it's for the NGO or, or what, whether it is for the club and so on and so forth then there's need for you to commence the registration by providing or providing and uploading all relevant document and imputes informations where necessary like that of the trustees and so on and so forth right and then when CSC might have reviewed your registration and approve it automatically your CSC certificate and other documents will not be available for you to download online then you go ahead and download the certificate that's all about how to register a cooperative society in Nigeria to recuperate corporate uh, affairs commission you can at the same time you the same process i just said to register for all other categories of incorporated trustee like the ngo uh club thank you and members i am chris i'm the founder of proweb digital so if you are new to our youtube channel can you click on the subscription button and smash the notification bell and also give this um video a thumbs up so that um youtube we also um distribute it to other people that might have been looking for how to upgrade an incorporated trustee registered in nigeria to the corporate affairs commission thank you and remember this sorry guys uh lisa forgot if you wish to join our premium or circular section where you will learn a lot of things about how to register a business name a private limited liability company a cooperative society an ngo and so on and so forth and also you want to get my support whenever you have challenge when it comes to um csc matters you can uh, easily connect with me uh kindly click the link in the description below this video to join our uh, training section you can as you can as well send me a message to my whatsapp line thank you and remember i am chris i'm the founder of proweb digital